Oh, I'm glad to see you can make oh, it, Therese. I'm sorry I'm late. It's all right. I guess a late date is better than no date at all. <laughs> it's just been one of those mornings. Everything went wrong. First, Corey couldn't find his lunchbox, and then he lost his sneaker, and then he didn't like his breakfast. He sounds like a hard man to please. Well, he's usually terrific, but this morning he got up on the wrong side of the bed, and no matter what I did, I couldn't talk him out of his bad mood. Well, you almost had another mood to contend with here. This place is depressing. Why do we have to meet here anywhere? Are we allowed to, to, to be seen in public? Oh, no, Joey. No, the, the disco is part of my idea. Clarice, I hate to be the one to tell you, but this place closed down last week. Can't you see everything's... Joey, stripped? I no... know it closed down, but that's all part of my idea. Now, does it inspire you? No. Well, this space has got so much potential. You sound like a real estate agent. Wait, you're not, you're not studying real estate now, are you? I mean, because I can't buy anything, I can't afford anything. It's... No, this has nothing to do with real estate. I'm interested in the space. But you see, I got to have, I, I got this idea, but I need Ada's help to, for me to carry it out. Ada? Yeah. Oh, I see. And I'm the go-between in this issue. Is that what it is? Right. You're using me. Oh, Joy, yes, I I'm wouldn't... Yes, just a disposable friend, right? You just use me and throw me away. No! Right, Clarice, no, that's all right, that's all right. Joey, you're much more important than that. Oh, there's more to this. Oh, there's a lot more. Oh, uh, well, you think you could let me in on a secret? It's not a secret, but I just, I haven't worked everything out real clearly yet. But you haven't worked out enough that you know that you're going to use me in this little... Well, well, for starters, you're just the ideal person to convince Ada. Convince Ada that whatever this secret is, that'd be a worthwhile venture to get into, is that right. it? Right. Uh-huh. And my powers of deduction just <laughs> amaze me sometimes. Now, you seem to have this scheme all worked out, right? Now, you sure you're not getting too deep into this no, little no, dark no. secret that it's, you it's have? It's just, not at this stage, it's still a beginning, but I, I am going to need Ada's help. Uh-huh. Well, I really can't sell Ada on thin air, so I think maybe you better just tell me just a little bit what's going on. Just, just a little thing. Can you guess? No, I can. <laughs> all I see is an empty shell here, Clarice. Exactly. That's... An empty shell. Huh. So, uh, sir, will you step this way? Uh, oh, oh. Oh. Don't step oh. on the wall. I'll step on the wall. Yeah. Okay. I will take you on a tour, yeah. and then you'll understand everything. It'll be all very clear. Well, thank you very much for the tour, Clarice. Aside from bumping into a few imaginary walls, I am none the wiser. Well, I want to give you an idea about the size of the space. The place is, is gigantic. You'd have to have a lucrative business just to pay the rent here. That's where the roller skating people were very smart. You know, they just did a little bit of carpentry, and then after that, they just used the bare space for the money. They were smart thinkers. Oh, but, but there was more to it than that. I mean, they used to have the cafeteria and the changing rooms. Wait a second. No, wait, wait, you're not thinking of having Ada open up a restaurant, are you? I mean, her cooking is good, but it's certainly not cordon bleu. Let's get that straight. Oh, Joey, I, no, and I mean, good thing Ada's not here. A daycare center? <laughs> no, can you imagine Ada being a nanny to a whole mess of little kids? No, no she has enough to worry about. Come on. Joey, will you just on. listen okay, to right, me? Okay, I'm listening. Okay, okay. okay I'm anyway, all I, I'll explain it all. Okay, okay. all right. Here we go. All right. Okay, well, anyway, we both care a great deal about Ada. And, and I've been very concerned about her lately, and I think you have, too. You know, one minute she has a loving family, and suddenly it's all taken away from her. And now she's just got this responsibility, Rachel and the baby Matthew, and taking care of Amanda and raising Nancy. And she's willing to do that, but I want her to have something to do that's all her very own, you know, something that she can get very involved in and, and something to help her fill the hours that she would have spent with Pop. Yeah, she has been very down since she lost Charlie. She seems, she seems very lost, but I still don't understand what, why we are here. I don't... Oh, okay, now, now just think. Okay. okay. Now you know where we are. Yes, we're in the stomach of the uh, <laughs> roller disco. Wrong! I mean, okay, in a way, wrong. it's wrong. No, I mean, you know where we are in terms of location. All right, yeah, yeah, the health connection. Right. Okay. Okay, now, the health connection owns this space. And since the disco closed, I've been snooping around, and I found out that the health club is going to revamp this whole space, and they're going to turn it into a series of little uh, service shops, and that's going to be part of the health club. Well, since the health club is doing this, I don't understand how Ada fit... Wait a second, you're not going to get her a membership to, to the health club? Oh! Why? You should get insulted if you did that, Clarice. <laughs> no, no, Joy, will you just let me finish? Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, Pop left Ada a small insurance policy. Right, right. Okay, and he also left a policy for Nancy's education. So all the money that's coming to Ada now is just going for one purpose, and that's to help her go on with her life. 
And she has to invest that wisely with the way inflation is going up. Uh -huh. That's right. All right. And what is a better investment than in Ada's own business? I mean, she can get out of the house and she can meet new people. What would be more appropriate in a health club than Ada's beauty parlor? <laughs> a beauty parlor. I would have never guessed it. Is there, is there a demand for that sort of oh, thing? Oh, you better believe there is an aid as a natural since she used to be a beautician of some repute. An infamous beautician? Ada? That doesn't sound like Ada, really? <laughs> Come on, Stuart. But I'm trying to tell you that this space would be just perfect for her to set up a business. You know something? At first, I thought you might have been barking up the wrong tree, but I really think you might have something here, Clarice. I really do. Of course I do. I mean, I thought it over and over a million times, and it's got everything going for it. Now, what, what, wouldn't the clientele, though, from, from the health center and everything like that take away from, from Ada's store? Oh, I doubt it. I think it would be just the opposite, because people come to health club, you know, to keep in shape, and they could go to Ada for fine-tuning. There's got to be a lot of people, you know, who shriek when their hair's all limp after they come out of the steam room, and Ada can save them. I see. Ada the angel fine-tuning their That's facial right. features That's right. fabulously. <laughs> she can do the manicures or facials or waxing. Waxing? Never mind. Huh. Well, what, what, what are the kind of stores now that would, would be involved in, in this whole area here, this whole complex? Well, well I think that depends on, uh, you know, what kind of offers they get. But I know that the organizers, they want to keep tight control of it so that they can keep the standards high. I'm not sure the competition wouldn't be too good if uh, there was a tattoo parlor <laughs> or a head shop or something like no, that. No, Joe, it's not going to be that. I, I imagine that when this place really gets off the ground, it's going to be very desirable. It'll be a sought-after spot in town. You know what? Now, if you do get a space, you're going to have to get a big enough space, though, in case you want it to expand. You're getting out to miss it. Well, you're getting to be a very good salesperson here. Very good. Well, I hope you can sell Ada on the idea. Well, I'll, you know, I'll talk to her and give it a try. And with a little help from my friends, I think maybe we could win her over. Except, you know, we can't run until we walk. And in terms of the space, I think it might be better for Ada if she started with kind of a small, you know, kind of intimate level. And then we can go from there. Just move on, right? I guess we could just move on to Broadway from there. The thing is, too, that, that it has to be... A big enough place? Well, I guess it is big enough. I mean, I don't think people feel like they're in a little closet when they're in this little area. No, that's here. right. You, you know, know what we'll do? We'll put mirrors on all the walls, and there'll uh -huh. be lots of plants and everything, and then the people probably won't even notice the space. I tell you what, right here, right. we could have the cutting room. The cutting room. Okay. And then over here on the side, we can have the shampoo room. And then they, we can use that space there for the manicuring. That You don't need much space for that. Uh-huh. And then over there will be the waxing studio. Waxing, there you go. What, what, what is this waxing? Ladies put wax in the oh, hair? Oh, no, Joey. Don't be so silly. Well, then where? Well, if you don't know, I'm not going to tell you. Oh, I have to do my homework on that one there. All right, and, well, there's going to be a lot of work that has to be done, though. There's going to have to be a lot of carpentry. I can tell from that, and all the way I can see right away, we're going to have to make a lower ceiling. You know, and this is all going to be very expensive. Well, you know, many hands make light work. I was thinking, <laughs> no, I was thinking that, you know, if we all kind of pitch in and everything, it would save us a lot of money. I mean, you're a terrific carpenter, and, and Larry could help. You know what I just thought of? My mother used this guy with it to, to rent equipment from that helped her with the restaurant. We can get him, we can get a good rate from him. This is, you know, this is going to... Well, how much rent? What about well, that? How much would that I be? Well, I thought, I thought maybe we could work out some kind of arrangement. If we do the, our own decorating and, yeah. and fixing up and we pay for it ourselves, maybe they would give us a break in the rent and make it something we could afford. You know what? I think you hit the nail on the head. I think this is the perfect thing for Ada to get her back into the mainstream. I told you. Now, if we could only convince her. Well, I don't know where to start with that. Well, I'll work on her. I'll think of something. <laughs>